Monks came from St Mary's Abbey in York and they had um, decided that York was altogether too cosmopolitan a place for them and that they wanted somewhere which was basically a more difficult place to live. Uh, and they came to uh, Ripon, spent Christmas at Ripon and then the chronicler says they went up the scale to find a place which was as damp and dreary as they could uh, and ended up at fountains. For about 15 years now, we've been reproducing that walk every Boxing Day uh, and walking from Ribbon Cathedral up to Fountains Abbey. One of the difficulties which we faced uh, this year for the first time is that along with quite a lot of other uh, events such as this, it's becoming increasingly difficult and increasingly expensive to cover their security. And we're in debate with North Yorkshire uh, Police, as are a number of other organisations, about events such as this. I very much hope that we shall be able to continue it because Boxing Day morning isn't a time when there's an awful lot of traffic around. Uh, so what we've in fact done this last year is that quite a number of us became stewards and put on yellow jackets and had a training session uh, just in order to make sure that the walk was safe. I think I have to bring everybody on with them. Yeah. When they yeah. first came, they said, we won't touch anything for a year. We walk um, out through the suburbs of Ripon and then start off just down the Pateley Bridge Road and then cut into the fields. Uh, so we've got, uh, we're going through the fields there. Oh, we certainly get muddy as you, as you go along the, uh, the footpath and particularly those at the uh, back of the walk. and then of course into the parkland of, of Studley Royal. The numbers vary enormously according to the weather. <laughs> the biggest by a long way was the one which immediately followed the foot and mouth outbreaks when it was certainly over a thousand who were walking. It's not usually as many as that and on really wet days we've been down to sort of a couple of hundreds. It's about the sort of 500 miles. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not an enormous distance, it's about, um, um, it'll be about four miles, I think. Quite a lot of people then, informally, after the uh, uh, service and the carols in the solarium, uh, walk, walk back again. The Boxing Day pilgrimage is really thinking about those first monks, the ones who came, not from Ripon, uh, but from York and they were York monks from St Mary's York and they were looking as the monastic movement has always wanted to find somewhere where it can return to a primitive dependence upon God, a simplicity of life and an openness to God often in quite remote places. And this particular group of monks felt that in the substantial city of York, this had become, become corrupt actually, had got involved with the politics of York and had built itself up too much uh, into, uh, into a place where uh, so much was going on that it wasn't possible actually to concentrate on God. And so they, uh, came to Ripon as a staging post. They simply spent Christmas there and then felt that they were led by God up the scale 
to a place which now, of course, is very beautiful, uh, but then would have been quite wild up in the hills. There are quite a number of people who, uh, who I only see once a year uh, on the pilgrimage because they live, I don't know, in Hull or, or Scarborough or elsewhere in the county and it certainly has become something of an institution. Uh, quite a lot of people do come out from Leeds and then there are quite a lot of local people, um, people who do live in Ripon uh, and it is, um, I suppose, at its most basic, rather a good way of uh, walking off of something of the lethargy which comes after Christmas. I think the people who come on it have recognised its spirituality, if you like. It's not just a um, Boxing Day morning walk, which you might do if you, uh, if you went out into Wednesday or something like that. It has got something about recognising the power of God in our communities and, the, and just the sort of spirituality which is around at Christmas when I think a lot of people just think about the way in which life is more than just us and our jobs and our homes and our money and so on. And there's something more to it than that. Uh, and the pilgrimage gives an opportunity just to think about that a bit without anybody feeling um, pressurised. And um, we, um, we sing carols and we, talk, we sing carols at the end when we get to uh, uh, fountains and we talk on the way. Um, but it's a very, um, it's a very enjoyable occasion. There's a lot of laughter.